Our next presenter is from Los Angeles as well. Uh, Mr. Ari Shapiro, will you please join me on stage? Ari is from a company called Embody Digital, and he has an app called the AR Avatar Director. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's the app. That's the yeah. So, um, so tell, talk to us a little bit about your interest in AR, because uh, you're also something of an industry veteran. Uh, How long have you been doing this? Uh, well, I, I work at the uh, USC Institute for Critical Technology, so this might be familiar to those of you in VR. So Oculus Rift and Google Cardboard kind of start from the Mixed Reality Lab out of, uh, out of the USC ICT. Um, if you've ever downloaded NVIDIA Faceworks, there's a 3D character photorealistic. That's me. It's also another USC ICT uh, project. Um, and I've been heading for eight years the Character Animation Simulation Group. So I've been studying what makes a good character model, what makes a good interaction with a digital character, and how do we create digital people that can think, react, and behave like real people? So that's sort of the genesis for what we've been doing. So there's a, another two-letter um, acronym that begins with A, and it sounds like a lot of what you do actually um, combines AR, and of course I'm talking about AI. Can you, can you speak to that a little bit? Uh, yeah, well, so the, the, uh, the app that we have, um, what we have is essentially an AI where you can use your voice to create animated character content. So you essentially collaborate with the AI where the words that you say are um, influence exactly what the body language would be for the character. So we studied um, for a long time what makes good nonverbal behavior. So the research says that people that, uh, Asians that gesture are better remembered, better liked, better understood, and can be more convincing than Asians that are just voice or just text. So we think that character content, interactive content, with a full body experience is gonna be important, especially in an augmented reality space where the body and the appearance of the character is, is front and center, right? So we think that there's gonna be a lot of interesting content. And at the end of the day, I think what we wanna interact with most are people and characters. And at some point, we're gonna, we're, we get very impressed with you know, good water simulations and other things in the space, but we really wanna interact with each other inside of the AR space, because I think that's the ultimate goal. So that's really the, uh, the purpose of the app. Could I, uh, yeah, should we roll your video? Yeah, so just let me set up the video first. So, um, you're going to start to see uh, where I've recorded my voice and then I've carefully annotated a few words where I want to change the meaning. And then what you're seeing is a complete run through of the app from that point. It's got sound too, so Jimmy, if you don't mind playing the video. Right, so here we've, we've created the avatar with the nonverbal behavior, so everything that he acted out would happen automatically. Here I'm placing it into this augmented reality space, positioning the character a little bit, and then I'm going to replay what I did. Go through this. I'd like to introduce you to our new app that lets you create an expressive avatar automatically using only your voice. This allows you to communicate with your entire body, not just your face like these other apps. And you can put me to audio reality just like this. Isn't this cool? And you can talk to me. I can talk to you? Yeah, you're totally awesome. Are you the, are you the, is that? So what I'm trying to show here is that I've actually prepared three different utterances for the character to say. I was interactively triggering them along with my voice. And then you have some uh, interactive control of the character as well. So uh, what we think this, this opens up is a whole class of animated communicative content, right? So there's some apps out there that lets you put an avatar and you can dance. It's more of expressive content, you know, me with a funny face, me doing something silly. But this actually allows full communication, um, or the potential for full communication. Can you give some examples of some of the language that the avatar would automatically understand and uh, make according, gestures accordingly? Yeah, so we're analyzing the entire sense. We're looking at the syntax of sense, we're looking at the semantics of the sense. We're looking at gesture theory. So there's this idea with gesture, if you've got this invisible conversation object, let's put that aside. Right? If you have a disfluency, you might go, um, your eyes might staccato for the camera because you're trying to reduce cognitive load. So you think about something that you're gonna say. There's bike kicks, you might at a point, you might say you, or you, you know, or over there. So there's different gestures that are accompanied, um, different sort of language, and we have a, uh, we've been looking at this for many, many years. We have about 250 different rules that go into the analysis of the sentence. So we also allow the user to annotate in case you want to do something like, I want to make this part sarcastic. So for example, you might not be able to understand 
uh, exactly what the person's thinking, but then you can annotate it as well. So it, it really becomes a very fast content creation generator for a character content. And for the extensions of this, we also see, imagine removing the user creating this content. Imagine some sort of AI or bot creating the content. Right? So now you've got some automatic system that can make your character talk and act out what you said. So I'm glad you showed the, uh, the kebab food uh, that before that. So let's go all the way. Let's get rid of the waiters, too. We use your phone. You show a little animated waiter, and the waiter starts talking to you. How do you create the communicative um, animations that the uh, waiter would say to you? You just record your voice, plug it into some AI bot, and then you have an application for automated waiter. So we think there's some uh, long-term uses for this connected to a lot of artificial intelligence systems. I think we have time for one audience question. Does anyone have a question? Uh, have you incorporated it into any off-the-shelf AI situation, uh, like the Watson's SDK or anything, or something like a chatbot to create that? Have you already tried that and have results already, and how have they turned out? I've done it with my research work. Um, the only limitation I have, for example, the only reason I can't create a Google Home personal assistant right now is that I need the phonetic information. So the lip syncing is very important. So you need some sort of um, TTF that can actually give you when the P's and the B's and the E's are. But once you have that, um, you, you open the door for We had another question in the front. Let's take that last question. Uh, you still have a question? Yeah. Uh, uh, fundamentally, how do I integrate your technology into my product? You can talk to me. <laughs> Essentially, it would be a, an SDK that would be embedded within uh, an app. We have it for Android, we have it for iOS, we have a web version as well. Um, but the, you know, the idea is that we're trying to assume the, the difficulty of animating the character and you know, take that difficulty with me. Okay, and is there other avatars you can use? Yeah. Or is it just a model that we There's no limit to what avatars you can use within the confines of how fast you reload on the phone. Essentially, you can create anything you want. There's some stock ones we can give you, or if you want to create your own branded one, um, which, you know, which might be something, a personality of character that you can do with it. Okay, thank you. All right, all right, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for being on the app.